There's so many trees like that in LA. If there are any tree engineers out there, please comment below Did you just say about tree the engineers? science of why these can stay up. Yeah. Tree engineers. It's called a joke. <laughs> this is what his jokes are like, guys. This is, this is what I'm married to. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the CarCast. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, for those of you who are new to the car cast, it is basically like a podcast where we're in the car so you can enjoy the sights while we talk. Uh, I'm Barry. I'm Sana. And we've got Coco back with Coco! us today. <laughs> where are we today, Sana? We are in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, woohoo, yeah. <laughs> LA. Fun facts about Hollywood is I feel like as a kid, I was obsessed with this place. I was like, wow, Hollywood. But then you kind of get here and you're like, Oh, wow, Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, it does not live up to the hype. It really doesn't. Like, from a visitor perspective, it's amazing. It's a good time. But from an, a, like, a LA resident perspective, I'm not a huge fan. Yeah, you would think, like, growing up, you think of Hollywood movie stars, nice lights and action. You would think it'd be, like, a super nice place. But in reality, you move to LA, and Hollywood was known as, like, one of the, not terrible areas, but, like, yeah. definitely not known as a nice area. Rent is not as expensive as other areas in the city. It's true, it's true. It's a little bit of a tourist trap. <laughs> very, very true. And but, you know, to, to our sides right here, we have the Hollywood Walk of Fame with all yes. those stars. Um, Speaking yeah. of stars, I think this is a good time to talk about our favorite stars. Favorite stars? Movie stars? Yeah, yeah movie stars. Okay. Well, I guess we could include musicians. <laughs> but we watched um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood not too long ago, and yeah. That is pretty fitting because our favorite actor is Leonardo DiCaprio. That's true. It is our favorite actor and we are in Hollywood. Yeah. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Once upon a time in Hollywood, <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio, all the great things. Yeah. And we've seen like all of his movies. I don't know about all of them. You've seen probably all of them. I, I've definitely seen all of them. I've seen most of them. Most Several times. You know what we should do? What? Let's rate our top five Leonardo DiCaprio movies. Rate our top five or rank them? Rank. Okay. Freaking logistics, semantics. Well, I mean, it's know, all the same. Well, I keep a movie spreadsheet where I rate all the movies, so I didn't know if that's what she does. Do that. How many movies do you have in that spreadsheet? I've got roughly over six hundred movies now. Started maybe four or five years back. That's actually crazy. Yeah. Wait, let's talk about that first. What are your top five movies on that list? Ooh, do you, that's do a, you recall? Uh, on that list, I think um, I think it goes like this. Number one. Uh -huh. La La Land uh -huh. by Damien Chazelle. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. ranked classic, at classic, classic. That's that's rated a nine point eight. Wow, perfection. Good, yeah, and you got Goodfellas, Martin Scorsese. Ooh. That is a nine point seven, I believe. Coming in at number three, you got Fight Club, David Fincher. I think I put that as a nine point six, just going down one point one point one. Wow. Uh, number Almost four. Perfection. Number four, we've got I believe, Memento. Christopher mm. Nolan. A thriller. Yeah. Nice. 9.5. Really nice. good screenplay. And ah, number... screenplay. <laughs> yeah. Hollywood. And number five, I've got, I want to say 400 Blows by Francois Truffaut. French movie. I think that's uh, what I put, number five. I don't think I've seen that. Are you, you haven't? I don't think I've well, seen that. That's what we're watching tonight. <laughs> that's what all we're right, watching tonight. All right, all right, all right. We got plans on this Friday night. All right, but okay. let's, let's do top five uh, Leonardo DiCaprio movies. This was very, yes, Coco, I know. <laughs> this was very, very tough for me because I've seen all of his movies, actually all of his movies. I love them all, even the random ones like Romeo plus Julia. I still like that one, you know, don't discriminate against any of his movies. So just disclaimer before I begin. I'm going to go ahead and say number five, <laughs> Blood Diamond. Oh, Loved solid. the plot. Loved Leonardo DiCaprio's acting. I don't remember anyone else's name from the movie, but also enjoyed their performances. Uh, overall, solid movie. I saw that movie probably when I was nine years old, and <laughs> all like, I remember, <laughs> all I remember was DiCaprio saying, "This is Africa." This is Africa. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible accent. Yeah, but the, his South African accent was very questionable. Yeah, I'll give you that. Like it was, it was a pretty questionable accent, but like overall. Pretty fantastic movie. All right, okay. Number four. Number four. Dang, man. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say Catch Me If You Can. Nice. Uh, that is one of the first movies I've seen. Young Leo. Young Leo, 
I just thought this, the story is very interesting. I'm like, it's based on a true story. This dude who is just like making his way through life with these little scheming attempts. I just thought it was a very interesting movie. Tom Hanks was great too. Um, but yeah, I also really enjoy that movie. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Number three. By the way, this is this is the first time Sana is driving for the car cast. Yes. Oh my god, we didn't even talk about that. <laughs> How does it feel driving? It, it, I mean, like, it feels good. I kind of see what you say, you're saying about like multitasking. Sana is driving like 20 miles an hour right now. I never drive slow, but I feel like right now I'm driving pretty slow. Yeah. People keep passing me and she like always, revving she their always, engine. She's always making fun of me for driving slow. Okay. Right, now right, she knows right, what it's right. like to have to multitask. You gotta. Talk, think about your list, drive, enjoy the view. That's true. That's so this is a monumental car cast episode because you're driving for the first time. We're in mm -hmm. we're in the new car for the first time. We're not sure. in the good old Challenger. True. Uh, but yeah, sorry to interrupt. You're, you're number three right now. Yes, I am number three. <laughs> okay, okay. Number three, The Great Gatsby. I feel like a lot of, you know, real book readers will hate me for saying this, but I love that book. Like, one of the only books I read in high school I actually really enjoyed. And then when Leonardo DiCaprio was in a movie, I was, yeah. for, for that book, I was like, this is perfection. So yeah, I love that movie. Um, who else is in it? Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire. Fun fact, Tobey Maguire and Leonardo DiCaprio have been BFFs since they were like teens. It's so cute. Anyways. Yeah. Carrie Mulligan's in it too. Yes, yeah. Back then I had no idea who she was, but now, but now she's, she's, she's popping. Yeah, she's popping. She's pretty, poppin'. what was it, pretty young woman? No. Young Promising Woman. Young Promising Woman. Yeah. Promising Young Woman. Promising Young Woman. Yeah, that's a good movie. It was, yeah, uh, that's really good. Oscar nom this year. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Look at these trees, by the way. Palm yeah. trees. I'll give Holly, I'll give that to Hollywood. They've got some nice palm tree setups. Yes. I will never understand how those skinny palm trees can grow so tall. Honestly, like, how without are they falling, falling without falling over. Like they're all leaning they over. Get, yeah, they're not only they're super tall and skinny, but they're like leaning. It's like one day they're it's gonna snap. Class. And that's gonna be. Gonna that's be gonna be it. Be a <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be a disaster. There are, there's so many trees like that in LA. If there are any tree engineers out there, please comment below. Tree? Wait, what? Did of, you say about tree the engineers? The science of why these can stay up. Yeah, I mean, what? What? Who? What type of scientist would study this? Tree engineers. It's called a joke. <laughs> <laughs> this is what his jokes are like, guys. It's a joke. This is this is what I'm married to. These are the jokes I have to laugh at. <laughs> do I mean do you know what scientist would know this? I mean like Would it be a geologist? I guess. My earth no. science teacher from eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 we're getting off topic. We're talking about a very yep. important topic. Yep. Number two. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wolf on Wall Street. Fantastic. Love it. Love everything about that movie. Did you say Wolf on Wall Street? Wolf of Wall Street, I mean. <laughs> it's been a long day, guys. I love that movie. That's Zero flaws. Yep. Like, Zero wow. flaws, right? Okay, there's okay. flaws, there's flaws. Hey, man. Yeah, there's flaws, there's flaws. But overall, I really enjoyed it. Another movie, Learn to Cabin, plays a man based on, um, like, plays a real life story. Yeah, Jordan Belfort. Yeah. It's crazy how that movie has become very iconic in our yeah. generation. Like, mm -hmm. it really defines that character trait of like that young guy trying yeah. to get rich quick, sacrifices some morals along the way. That's facts. That's like very representative of a lot of what's going on these so days, true. I think, with... Um, so true. Uh, honestly, what's, what's interesting is that movie is like uh -huh. talking about penny stocks. <laughs> and today the equivalent is basically like meme stocks and and, and meme cryptocurrencies Stonks. like Dogecoin. So it's it's funny. It's very relevant today. Many years Stonks. later. Stonks. I, I understand the songs. Yeah. Mm hmm What if mm -hmm. I just made this car cast a, a stock Please themed, no. A stock themed podcast. I will no longer be participating. <laughs> I have nothing to contribute besides stonks. Like I actually have nothing to contribute. That's all right. I tried it once and like I, I think I like I used Robinhood, put in like I don't even know, like ten bucks lost two dollars and said nope <laughs> this is not for me i cannot take this risk <laughs> one day maybe i'll make my own podcast yeah well, and i will not be there maybe coco will be interested to learn about songs. coco where are you she oh she's over there she's in the back seat can you see i don't know uh, if you can no, see her in the i don't think you can see her she's in the corner having her best life she loves looking out by that window 
Oh. This is Coco's favorite toy. Favorite toy. Let's see if she plays. <laughs> nice, she's not in the mood. Anyway, what's your number one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, also, is that fire in the distance? Do you see that? Oh, snap. Yeah, there's some smoke. Welcome to California, land of fires. That is actually, it looks so smoky. Um, anyways, number one. Oh my God, I can't believe we made it this far. <laughs> oh my God. Titanic. Titanic. Listen. Oh my God, this movie. Classic. This movie was like an awakening for me. Like, this is where I discovered Leonardo DiCaprio. I was like, he is an amazing actor. He's my favorite. I kid you not, growing up, I think maybe when I was like in sixth grade, there was like a year straight where I actually watched the movie every single day. Like, That's, no, I, I, no, I'm not joking. It's I'm not three and a half hour No, listen, movie. listen, no, listen. I skipped all of the old Rose scenes because I was like, meh, just want Leah. <laughs> and actually watched the movie every single day. It would get to the point where I would just sit there reciting it while I'm watching it, and my sister and my mom are just like, what? You you knew the, the lines? At that point, when you watch it every day for a year, let's, like, let's, especially in other types of lines, no, 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 dude, this was like- Let's test out your memory. Name, no. Give me one line. Give me one line that you remember. No, stop. One okay. line. If you, if you knew all the lines there, I'm sure you can remember First of all, this one. was like sixth grade. I'm sure you can remember Nothing else was one. going on in my brain in sixth grade. What else is going on these days? That's true. There's nothing really going on in my brain. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's been so long. Draw me like one of your French girls. Classic. Oh, there you go. Classic. Nice. No, but I actually, I just love that movie. I, oh, fantastic. Anyways, that's my top five. Nice. Do you have a top five? I'll tell you what's not in my top five. <laughs> that's not how this works. <laughs> There's... Here's my not five. <laughs> no, not sure. five. I want to, because we, we brought up Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh. And I got to say, that movie, if I'm being completely honest with you, we watched it together in a theater and I fell asleep. Yeah, I, it was disrespectful. And, and I know, so the problem is, this is one of those movies where I would never be caught dead saying I don't like it. Because it's it's one of those things where you're supposed to like it and I would feel I would feel illegitimate as a film buff if I said I didn't like it. Yeah, it's, Tarantino. It, it's like a film movie. It's Tarantino, it's, got Oscar noms, it has yeah. so many references to old movies, it's got mm -hmm. a stacked cast and everyone they, it says it's good but to be it's honest true, it's true i didn't really understand it <laughs> did you understand it i mean yeah like not gonna lie afterwards we had to like google it to understand the context because it's all about like 60s hollywood all the actors and like and, like the manson murders and yeah stuff. and i i knew of them but i wasn't like yeah, in like, the know you've got to be you yeah i feel like it was a movie made for people who are either smart or just mm -hmm. are like in the industry and know about the contextual situation of that time period. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately that wasn't me. Yeah. I, I thought it was well, super well made, but yeah. it, it wasn't a movie for the Fantastic. masses. It's, it makes me think about at this point in our life where there's a lot of things where I just feel like I have to know and I can't ask questions about. <laughs> Do you ever feel like there's things where you, it's just too late to ask questions for? <laughs> yes. Like imagine I started asking about how how taxes work. I have no idea how taxes work. I mean, I'm supposed to know how taxes work. I actually, I guess I yes. know how taxes, I guess no. I know how taxes work, but if you ask me to really no. explain it, it's complex. I cannot explain taxes to you. I cannot explain stonks to you. I cannot explain why a plane can fly. And I don't want to ask about it. That's a good one. I cannot, I don't understand Bluetooth. And I, like, I just don't. <laughs> I really, I really want to. And I can't say I don't. I work in tech. And that would just be weird. <laughs> yeah. There's just, so I, I guess I just confess my darkest secrets. But like, those are things that most people don't, like most people don't know how Bluetooth works, right? Yeah, but it's such, it's more about how it's such a standard thing that we use every single day. Yeah. And I could not, for the life of me, explain it. That's true. Don't know how it works. <laughs> really don't. <laughs> Man. Anyway. Yeah, I feel you there. I, I'll, I'll, I'll try to come up with my list. I wasn't prepared for this. I would put a number five, catch me if you can. Number four, I'll say Blood Diamond. Number three. She's like, no, you're not explaining anything. <laughs> well, we already like, talked I, about these. We already talked about that's these. That's true. That's Number true. three, I will go ahead and say, uh, 
Titanic. Number two, Django, Un- Django Unchained. Ooh, so here's, here's one that we haven't brought up. Django Unchained was, was great. And I, I love how he doesn't enter the movie until like halfway through. Uh-huh. But he's still uh-huh. such a dominant uh-huh. part of the movie. Like he's so true, important. True. And I'll never forget that behind the scenes video I watched where he was in this scene and he was carrying a glass, uh, uh-huh. like a drinking glass. Uh-huh. And he slammed it on the, I can't remember exactly how, but he slammed his... The, the hand on his hand on the table mm-hmm. and he know. and he like got blood all oh, over yeah, him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually hurt himself. Yeah, and it was real blood and he kept going and they used going. that scene in the actual final cut of the movie. That's the sign of a great actor. That's amazing, yeah. You can do improv like that. Man. Wow. DiCaprio. Okay, yeah, that, that is a pretty good movie. I would honestly put that like number six for me. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, it feels bad not to include it. Yeah. And number one, I'll put Wolf of Wall Street. All right. Why, why is that number one? It's just so fun to watch. It's so fun to watch. Sure. It's it's relatable. It shows. It's relatable. It, yeah, I mean, it shows the <laughs> which the, part the, the depths of human desire and how it'll take. Yeah. It it can take uh, an okay person to become a really bad person. I mean, this was a kind of like exaggerated though. Oh, it was it was very real. In fact, I think Jordan Belfort said it was toned down. That the real stories were even worse than it was uh-huh. in the movie boy i actually recently saw a tiktok of him yeah and he was like he was like when you're just chilling and then leonardo DiCaprio plays in a movie about you and you're like hey. <laughs> like imagine that like you just find out leonardo yeah. DiCaprio is going to play in the movie yeah. i feel like i would have made it as a person yeah if leonardo DiCaprio can play me that'd be so random <laughs> but like i'm into it i i accept this yeah where, where are you headed by the way um, we are now like more in the suburbia area of Hollywood. If you cannot see, there seems to be a fire ahead over there. Oh, a lot of but... fire trucks. So I decided to do a detour because there's a long see. line of cars just sitting there. I see. I see. So here we are now more in the low key part of Hollywood, we could say. Okay. All right. Say. Very yeah. scenic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. But yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio, number one actor. It's actually pretty crazy because when we met, this was just like something that we bonded over. Like, Leonardo DiCaprio is also your favorite actor. Yeah, it's funny because <laughs> we were in the same, uh, same like freshman year dorm. Yeah. And in that dorm, I stayed there and I became a, an RA. Mm-hmm. And we had to have a theme for our hall that we were an RA for. And my theme was Leonardo DiCaprio. This is serious. Was it Leonardo DiCaprio? It was, Yeah, right? it was. Yeah. So then, like... I just had... All the name tags were, like, had, like, a background of, like, Leonardo DiCaprio in some movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's classic. Which makes me think sometimes, like, imagine you really didn't like Leonardo DiCaprio. And I had your name <laughs> printed on... Every day and this for is, a year. this is outside your dorm room, where it's, like, your name tag is there with Leonardo DiCaprio behind it. What if you had some issues with him, man? No one can hate Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, I guess the Oscars hate him for a while since it took him a while to actually win anything. But no one can actually hate Leonardo DiCaprio. That's against the law. That's true. He, he yeah. does a good job of maintaining his image there. It's very true. Very true. How would you How would you rate my driving, by the way? I'll get. I'll give. I'll give your. I'll give your driving a solid seven point five out of ten. Why not ten? It's solid, but at, there are there are some points where yeah. I feel where you're not very confident. You're driving very slow, or sort of you you slow down a lot. I don't think it has anything to do about confidence. I think it has more to do with the fact that it driving while thinking about my top five Leonardo DiCaprio movies, it's, thinking it's about tough, what's yeah. for star tonight. I'm not one to talk, by the way. My driving is usually much worse yeah and also this is like hollywood hollywood where the street's very busy yeah you got traffic and i'm trying to be very safe you got you traffic. can't appreciate that this is honestly i hope everyone can appreciate this format this this cutting edge car cast format it's the only one in the world hosted only by one. us only one if you guys is there have you ever heard of another car cast definitely not i've okay. heard of podcasts well, or yeah. podcasts about cars yeah. But to combine the two features, yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah, well, uh, another one's in the books. 
this was a this was a great car cast and yeah we saw some interesting things we saw um walk of fame we saw a bunch of hollywood areas and also a fire so this yeah. is really all in one california classic, car cast right classic here los angeles california in the heart of hollywood exactly. where to next we don't know if you have ideas leave it down in the comments yes sir <laughs> thanks for joining yep see you next time peace Thank you.